My favorite time is to be at the Rock on a Saturday when the Golden Eagles are playing because when, when Eagle Walk takes place, boy, you, you can feel your heart start to beat just a little bit. And then when the team comes out onto the field through all the smoke and all the music and things like that, uh, that heart gets going a little bit better. And then when that opening kickoff occurs, uh, that is uh, the, the ultimate excitement. There's nothing like a Saturday at the Rock. You know, one of my favorite moments at The Rock was back in 2003 when the Golden Eagles hosted a TCU team that was in the top 10 in the country. And the Golden Eagles picked up a big victory that night. The Eagles have won it. Let's go to Lance on the sideline. Jim Hicks, how good does this feel, baby? It's the best feeling in the world. I think it's amazing what Southern Miss has accomplished in the, a little over 100 years of playing football. And you think back to just the last 20 years, victories over Alabama, Auburn, LSU, and Nebraska, and it goes on and on. And the Conference USA championships that they've won, the bowl games uh, that they've played in. You know, Southern Miss has a, a rich, rich tradition. And we had a lot of good feelings at Southern Miss. We had a lot of big wins, uh, a lot of fun, played with a lot of great players, a bunch of us nobodies, and uh, we beat a lot of good teams. Southern Miss plays the game the way it's supposed to be played. They play with a little bit of a, a chip on their shoulder. They want to go out and prove to everybody that uh, this is the place to be, and this is a team that you don't want to have to mess around with. You know, you always have a chance to play at Southern Miss. Great example of that is Brett Favre. There's Brett Favre as a 17-year-old freshman. Just removed uh, four or five months out of high school, Brett Farr becoming the starting quarterback at Southern Miss and leading the Golden Eagles to victory. And I tell kids all the time, don't get blinded by how big the school is or how many times they're on TV and things like that. If your goal was to play pro football, they'll find you. They will find you. But you got to play first. When you look at the tradition of Southern Miss, one thing you see is how many guys that played at Southern Miss, that gave their blood, sweat, and tears to help the Golden Eagles and to win football games and championships, how they come back to games, how they come back in the spring, how they come back in the summer to try to give back to Southern Miss. You know, I, I take pride in Southern Miss, period. I take pride in the games that we played, the legacy that we left behind, the guys that I was able to play with, you know, if I had it to do over again and 10 schools would have offered, I would have chose Southern Miss. I mean, how could I not? You know, one of my, uh, my favorite quotes that somebody ever made about Southern Miss football was back in November of 1982. That's right after Southern Miss upset Coach Bear Bryant in Alabama and ended their 56-game home winning streak. It's over, and the Eagles have won it. The Golden Eagles have upset the Alabama Crimson Tide here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and this place is a madhouse. It was from Mickey Spagnola of the Jackson Clarion Ledger the next morning after that game. He said, if you're going to war and you get to pick first, choose Southern Miss. Always choose Southern Miss. Don't fight Southern Miss. No matter how hard you fight, those folks will fight harder. These people know sweat. They know work. They know nothing ever came easy. They are hard, hard, I'm telling you.